The first camera to be inserted into one of the crippled Fukushima nuclear reactors yielded disappointment on Thursday with visibility marred by steam and radiation. Plant operator TEPCO used an industrial endoscope to peer inside the number two reactor where nuclear fuel has melted down. The radiation-resistant endoscope was inserted about two meters into the reactor vessel to shoot images in various directions. It shot seven pictures inside the containment structure. Although some images showed internal plumbing, they were unclear. Many white spots obscure the pictures, apparently caused by the effects of radiation or steam from the radioactive water. The camera failed to register the surface of the contaminated cooling pool or any other details of the reactor's inner structure. As far as we can tell from these pictures, there doesn't seem to be any major damage. But I expected to see how the water is flowing inside the reactor, which could help our research. But nothing is clear. TEPCO needs to grasp the condition inside the reactor as it prepares for decommissioning them. The company says it will consider using other monitoring devices to get a better view. But they, they can't. They can't wipe out fucking 90% of the world's population and people are not going to start to get pissed off about it. By the time 50% of the people are dead, there's going to be people that are going to start to get upset about this. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant says it failed to connect an emergency power supply to a device that sends information on the reactors to the nuclear safety agency. The device failed to send real-time data because it wasn't connected to a backup power supply after the March 11th earthquake and tsunami. The equipment provides reactor temperatures and other information to the Emergency Response Support System, or ERSS. The lack of real-time data may have affected the government's immediate response to the disaster. TEPCO says it planned to connect the device to an emergency power source in November 2010, four months before the March 11th disaster. The utility says it didn't complete the procedure because a cable was too short. What the fuck? TEPCO says it discussed a date for connecting the device with the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency, but TEPCO says it didn't think connecting the device to the emergency power supply was an urgent task. They are just getting ready to kill everybody on a whole fucking global level. Fukushima, let me show it to you again. Fukushima, fuck you proper. They stick it in, butt in first. Be the Environment Ministry says high levels of radioactive cesium have been found in firewood ash in Fukushima Prefecture, northeastern Japan. In the wake of the nuclear accident in Fukushima, the ministry informed the prefecture and seven others that their municipalities should collect and dispose of the ash because it may be contaminated. The ministry burned samples of wood collected in gardens from two houses in Nihong Matsu City after being asked by the city last November if the stole fuel could pose a health hazard. The ministry found that the maximum level of radioactive cesium was about 44,000 becquerels per kilogram. The forestry agency last November notified prefectures that firewood contaminated with over 40 becquerels of radioactive cesium per kilogram should not be distributed. The wood in question was gathered from nearby forests by residents. The Environment Ministry has decided to examine how firewood is kept and used by residents in Fukushima and surrounding prefectures. It will check the radiation levels in its ashes. Japan's nuclear crisis minister Goshi Hosono says a 40-year operating limit is the basic policy for the lifespans of reactors, and he says extensions are unlikely. He was responding to criticism that the government might allow extensions of 20 years. Hosono clarified the stance at a news conference in Washington. He said the application of new safety standards will make it difficult for the government to permit extensions. It would be extremely hard for reactors to operate over 40 years. There's no change in our stance that 40 years is the maximum operating limit. Hosono admitted responsibility for the confusion. He promised to make his explanations clear. 
Local government officials near the sites of nuclear plants criticized the plant to extend operating limits. Scientists, too, complained about the proposal. Because there's a complete and 100% news blackout about fuck you proper. Let me explain to you about fuck you proper. In case you don't understand, let me put my fucking Horatio glasses on here. And then we're going to go into fuck you proper. Fuck you proper is work like this. Radiation, <clears throat> they tell you it's 200 times the normal limit. Today it's 200 fucking times the normal limit. But it was 200 times the fucking normal limit yesterday, and it'll be 200 times the normal limit tomorrow. So you didn't just get 200 times the normal limit, you got 600 times the fucking normal limit. But I lied to you. I made the numbers fucking low. You didn't get 600 times the normal limit. You got 1,600 times the normal limit yesterday if you lived in California, let's say. Or if you lived, excuse me, in Fukushima. If you lived in Fukushima, you might have got 14,000 times the normal limit. But you didn't get 14,000 times the normal limit for one day. You got it for the last 80 fucking days. And have they figured out what the radiation is in fuck you proper Fukushima yet? No, they didn't figure it out because they don't give a fuck. They want you fucking dead. That's what they want. They want you fucking dead. They don't care how they kill you. Rat poison, a.k.a. sodium fluoride that they put in your fucking children's toothpaste. They don't give a fuck if it's sodium fluoride. They don't give a fuck if it's GMO corn. Look at the 10-part series about Monsanto and the genetic corn, how it has chemicals in it that, that have already reduced the sperm count in viral people, people like me who should be out proliferating this fucking world. They have reduced my sperm count by as much as 30%. What is everybody going to do if I don't have the sperm to supply all these fucking people? What are they going to do? Where are they going to go? You can't buy sperm on the corner. It's not like you can just go buy sperm. That shit's expensive and it takes all day to make. But moving past that, the people in Fukushima, they're getting 16,000 times the radiation today and tomorrow and the day after. That's 48,000 times the radiation in three days. And it's going on now for fucking 80 fucking days. When are they going to fucking start telling you what the numbers are? The, the radiation levels in the sea are more than fucking 30 thousand fucking times the amount of radiation that's allowed. That's 30,000 times today and tomorrow. If you went swimming outside, fuck you proper, where they keep spraying hundreds and thousands of gallons of water on that fucking nuclear power plant every fucking day, if you went out there, you'd be dead in a month. Are you starting to get the point that I'm trying to make here?